okay? And when we open the kidney, you can see the cortex and what would be here? All your nephron, right? And then here's the medulla region. And so those little pyramids right here, okay? So those would be your pyramids. Columns are not as discrete in this particular dissection. But this central open area is the renal pelvis, okay? There's your renal pelvis right there. Okay, now, tube coming from the kidney to the bladder. Ureter. Ureter. And this particular cat, the bladder is real tight. Other cats, not so tight, and some cats real filled. You know, but essentially, they're all bladder, urinary bladder. And then from the urinary bladder, <clears throat> here is your what? Urethra. Urethra. Okay. Now, The urethra, let me cut some of this tissue. Okay. The urethra actually inserts, here's your vagina down here, into the vagina before it exits, all right? So here's the vagina down here. This is the pubic synthesis that we're opening, right? If I didn't cut it too deep. Okay. So why is there urethra? This is all urethra uh -huh. right here, okay? And it would insert here. Okay, so all of this is Vagina down here. I can get away the connective tissue. Okay. Okay. And then this is the uterus. This is the body of the uterus. And these extend is what's called the horn of the uterus because all of this, unlike fallopian tube, can support the growth of a developing embryo because cats have litters. Right? Okay, yeah, they do. So you have, you could have, we didn't have any pregnant cats this semester, but you could have kittens all through this area, okay? Uh, then we have a very short uh, fallopian tube, which quite honestly we can't put a pin in, but it wraps around right there, the fimbrae are there, and here's the ovary, that little bean shape, okay? So that's female reproductive, all right? Got it? Not so, so bad.